These Twitch streamers are generating hundreds of dollars per day and they are not doing anything that you guys can do. Hey guys, it's Mr. Money here and this video is all about making money with Twitch and I'm not just talking about Twitch donations and Twitch subscriptions, which are the most popular ways of monetizing your time on that platform. We're about to implement some more creative ways of making money on Twitch. And you don't need any previous experience, you don't need any kind of social media following to make that happen. All you gotta do is implement a few very easy steps. And so drop us a like and that subscribe button and let's get right into it. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this video are familiar with Twitch.tv and you know how that platform works and the key difference between YouTube and Twitch. Most of the times on YouTube, you're going to find pre-recorded content. On the other hand, Twitch only has live streams. Meaning that all of these content creators are putting out content as we speak. No, okay. They are live. And regardless of what you are interested in, you're always going to find content you like on Twitch. Because they've got all sorts of different topics. Games, music, esports, creative, you name it, they're going to have it. Now, of course, you can replicate a similar process on YouTube. If you type in Fortnite, for instance, and you hit enter, here's what happens. Most of the content is going to be pre-recorded just as mentioned, but you can head over to the filters and then only select the live feature. And as you might expect, that's going to display live streams. And so YouTube has a pretty similar feature. It allows content creators to go live. But the key difference is going to be the way in which content creators are making money. When it comes to Twitch.tv, the two main ways of generating money are Twitch donations and Twitch subscriptions. Now guys, the way in which Twitch donations work is rather self-explanatory. People are just going to put out high value content that people are going to enjoy. And if they do, they would like to support their favorite content creators by making a few donations. They're just going to send different amounts of money to the creators so they can help them out and they can keep producing high quality content. Now guys, I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with the way Twitch donations work. So I'm not going to walk you through that process because it's fairly simple. And even better than that, we're not going to donate a single dollar, so don't worry about it. Another really interesting feature is going to be a Twitch subscription. And that is pretty much going to be a recurring donation or a recurring payment that you make to your favorite content creators. You can just head over to their profile and click on subscribe and that's going to be for a certain price. For instance, it would cost us £5 to subscribe to this channel. And of course, there are going to be some perks of subscribing. There are also going to be different tiers and recently YouTube has also implemented a very similar process so you can also subscribe to YouTube channels. And so as you might expect, Twitch content creators can profit off of those. They're just doing live streams, they're putting out high value content and so they're receiving donations and at the same time, if people like their content, they're also going to subscribe. Here is the main thing I wanted to emphasize in today's video. Most people would wrongly think that donations and subscriptions are the mainstream of income for Twitch streamers or YouTube creators. That is not necessarily true. A lot of Twitch streamers, a lot of content creators, regardless of what platform they are posting on, are making money outside of that platform as well just by leveraging their personal brand. People know them, they've got a whole community together, a whole audience that they can cater to and so they can create digital or physical products, they can create merch, they can create an NFT collection and sell it to their fans. Other than that, they can also partner up with different brands. And so let's say that I wanted to partner up with a brand that's going to pay me just for promoting their product. I can do that. And we actually get all sorts of different proposals and emails. Those are the so-called brand deals. For instance, YouTube brand deals are partnerships between creators and brands. And it's sometimes referred as brand sponsorships. Basically, companies are going to reach out to all of these streamers and make a business proposal. If that streamer agrees with your terms, they're going to partner up. Now, that partnership can get all sorts of different forms. It can be commission-based, there can be upfront payments, that's going to be entirely up to the content creator and the advertiser. For instance, let's say that you are a content creator on YouTube and you are posting travel-related content. Well, an agency can reach out to you and actually propose 
a really interesting partnership. They're going to let you stay at a place for free at a hotel for a week, just in exchange for your promotion. You're going to promote that place on your blog, on your YouTube channel, on your Twitch account. And so they're going to offer you some perks and some benefits. It is basically a mutually beneficial partnership. But as you guys could see, most of these opportunities here cannot be taken advantage of by complete beginners. You need to get some sort of exposure. You need to get some sort of social media following. You need a lot of subscribers on YouTube or subscribers on Twitch. Why not? And so if you're just starting out, this may not be the perfect opportunity for you. And instead of that, I'm about to show you a way you can actually take advantage of all the traffic Twitch gets for free so you can also make some money without creating any content and that means you're not going to show your face on camera you're not going to record your voice you're not going to record the screen of your computer either you're just going to repost some content and take advantage of all that traffic so the easiest thing you can do is just head over to the games category on twitch.tv once you're here you're going to take a look at the recommended games section and as you can see, each game, each category is going to have a certain number of viewers, 450,000, 76,000, and so on and so forth. Ideally, you want to pick the most popular one. This one is trending right now, so I'm going to select it. And as you can see, people are streaming right now. But as promised, I'm not going to require you guys to create any content of your own. And instead, I want you to copy the name of that game and then head over to YouTube. Just type that in and hit enter. And now you want to head over to the filter section and select Creative Commons. Basically, that means that all of these videos are copyright free. If you download them and repost them on your own YouTube channel, you will not be monetized, of course, because this is not your original content, so you are not providing any sort of added value, but at the same time, they will not be taken down. That literally means you won't have any problems reposting this type of content, so you can actually do that. And now the question is, how are we going to profit off of that? Well, it's pretty simple. If you guys are using TubeBuddy, you can actually see the keyword score. And in the case of Lost Ark, the search volume is going to be excellent, meaning that a lot of people are searching for this term. Lost Ark gets about 1.17 million searches per month on YouTube alone. And so what I want you guys to do is pick a video and then download that on your computer. But make sure that it is a creative common. What you need to do now is click on the share button and then simply copy the link in here. Downloading that is not going to be too difficult either. Any YouTube to MP4 converter should do the job correctly. So let's just open one of those and paste in our link. I'm just going to paste it in here. Click on the start button and there you have it. This is it and you can even select the quality that you're interested in. If you want to save some time, just go for 720p because you don't need to have full HD. Click on the download button and that's it. You can now head back over to your YouTube channel, click on the create icon right here and re-upload that. And so you might be wondering how am I going to profit off of that? It is not going to get monetized, so what's the point? Well, indeed, you are not going to get paid by YouTube through the Google AdSense program, but instead of that, you're going to take advantage of all the traffic this keyword gets. People are interested in it, and so they would most likely click on your video and watch it. And if they do, they're also going to take a look at the description of your video. And that's going to be the key of this whole process. What you want to do is find an affiliate product that you can start promoting in your description. You're essentially redirecting all that free traffic from YouTube to your landing page. Now, taking into account the fact that we have chosen the gaming niche, this process is going to be a little bit more difficult because we won't be able to find any gaming related items here, or at least none that I'm aware of. However, you can head over to computer and internet and find a product that's related to that. And from my experience, that is going to work pretty fine. Alternatively, you can focus on the software sub niche here, and that's also going to work rather well. And here's the thing, whichever one you choose to focus on, the process is going to stay pretty much the same. The fundamentals don't change here. You're finding a viral topic on Twitch, and then you're heading over to YouTube to search for Creative Commons. Download that on your computer, repost them on your channel, and convert all of that traffic. That's it for now, thank you so much for watching, and now I'll see you guys in the next one.